I honestly think it's energy. I honestly think it is electromagnetic signal. Um, certainly there have been some studies, uh, um, there was a, a book written called The Scientific Basis of Integrative Medicine, and I can't quite offhand remember the author, uh, where, you know, there were, um, there was research done as to whether, for instance, there was actually an electrical signal that was produced uh, during these kinds of research, and um, there seemed to be some evidence that there was, and you know, that it's, it's, it's a signal uh, probably in the um, infrared, I believe, or something mm -hmm. like that. I'm, I'm, I have, I'm, I'm not quite sure exactly where it is um, that uh, has a particular wavelength, um, and um, that seems to be at a higher amplitude for people who are um, you know, Qigong masters and people mm -hmm. who have had a tremendous amount of experience that you have a relatively constant frequency and a more um, a variation in amplitude depending on the experience of the practitioner. Um, which is cool. I mean, yeah. it's amazing stuff and it's, it's something that, you know, you don't see a lot of people talking about. But certainly my impression is that, um, you know, there really is some uh, electromagnetic change. I mean, people... You know, you, you hear people talking about auras and things mm -hmm. like that, and and um, and it all sounds very mysterious. But there's kind of growing evidence that what an aura is is simply an electric field, mm -hmm. and um, because all living things have electric fields, and because electric fields are very dynamic um, systems, uh, you know, you could see how somebody could get a percept; they could feel something with their hand if they're sensitive enough, mm -hmm. um, you know, when you're off the body. And that potentially the interaction of your electric field with somebody else's electric field could actually be transmitted, you know, to the living being that's underneath mm -hmm. it. Um, particularly, I think, if you've got um, resonances, you know, which mm -hmm. is where you have ele electromagnetic oscillators that are, you know, of the same frequency so that you start to sort of perceive um, perceive them with a much higher amplitude. So you can have either constructive interference or negative interference. And, um, and that's actually something that's been coming out of this, some of this conference that I just went to is, I think people are getting more and more of this concept of resonance, of electromagnetic magnetic resonance between people, you know, that you're working on or, you know, um, when you're working on a particular mm -hmm. structure. Um, and this is going to sound very, very far out to a lot of people, but the more I do this work, the more I think that there probably is um, electromagnetic signal passing back and forth.